Hey y'all, it is me, Mark, and welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about crazy retail stories and customer experiences. Whew! I've had a lot of bad experiences with customers, people being rude to me, people being crazy. I've seen it all, I've experienced it all. It is crazy. Um, I have so much respect for retail workers because it is a lot harder than you think to be a retail worker. You have to not only do your daily tasks, but there's a lot of mean people who try to take you down and make your day worse. And you know, I have a lot of respect for them. So a little bit of a backstory of where these all happened was I used to work at a local grocery store. It was a bulk grocery specialty store. And I worked there for two years part time. And I loved working there. I had an amazing opportunity to work there. I was so glad to work there. I met so many amazing people. Everyone was so kind to me. All my managers, bosses, everyone, they were so sweet to me and so kind to me. I love every single employee there and none of the stories that I'm about to tell are bashing any of them because I love them and I would never do that in any way. But yeah, they were so amazing to me. They even threw a little birthday party to me in the middle of a shift one time and they got me an ice cream cake. So I love, love that and I will never forget that. I will never, ever, ever forget that. And working at this store was amazing and I loved it so much. And just a forewarning like this is not an ordinary grocery store it's a bulk store like yes we did have packaged items where you can just pick up a pack of pasta and go but we also sold mostly bulk items which means that the products would be inside of a bin and you would scoop however much you wanted into another bag and then the cashiers would go and weigh it and you would be charged based off of how much of the product you got so that's just a forewarning to all. Let's start off with story number one. I did a story time about this on TikTok, but in case you haven't seen it, I'm gonna do it for here as well. Obviously the one before was a condensed version on TikTok, so yeah. Um, so at the store we sold, oh my God, why is my hair doing that? Ciao. Oh my God, no, whatever. Oh, there we go. So at the store, we had a baking section. We sold sprinkles, we sold confetti, we sold all sorts of materials for baking. And we sold golden rice. I'll insert a picture here. You would think that those are some sort of sprinkles or decorations for a cake, right? Okay, think about this, okay. This woman comes into the store, she walks in, she comes up to me. She's like, I need to bring you somewhere. And I said, okay, yes ma'am. So she takes me over to the baking section. She points at the golden rice and she says, sir, I put this in my rice cooker and it broke. And I said, uh, uh, uh. Ah, uh, I didn't even know how to answer that. Like, how are you telling me that you put a cake decoration in a rice cooker? Girl, what are you thinking? And she also said, and when the rice came out, I gave it to my daughter and she said it tasted disgusting. And I look at her, ma'am, I'm so sorry, but that golden rice is not to be cooked. It is supposed to be used as a cake decoration. This woman says, then why do you label it as golden rice? I say, ma'am, I am truly sorry that that happened to you, but this is a cake decoration, not a rice that you would cook. And she said, well, do you have someone else I can speak to because I'm in denial of this? And I say, well, yeah, I can bring over my coworker. Bring over my coworker. I explain the whole situation to her. My coworker says, ma'am, I'm sorry, this is a cake decoration. And she says, are you serious? And I say, well, yes, ma'am. Uh, we have a whole nother rice section in the back of the store and that's where all the cooking rice would be. This is in the cake decoration part of the store. Like you don't put 
this stuff in a rice cooker. And then long story short, she went to my manager and asked for some sort of refund or subsidy, subs, I don't know the word, but like she wanted a refund or some sort of like cash amount for her broken rice cooker and the amount of money she spent on this golden rice. So if you do work in retail, I'm sure you understand how crazy and not so smart some customers are. I mean, you're dealing with everyone when you're working at these stores. So yeah, that was an example of people who are not thinking properly. Second story. Okay. So our store, as I said, we also sold packaged items, but we sold them in large quantities too. So our bags of flour, we sold 25 pound bags of flour. So A, they're heavy and B, it's a large quantity of flour. Woman comes in, she says, hi, could you go grab me a bag of flour? And I say, okay, yeah, the, the 25 pound bag. She said, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah, that one. So I'm like, okay, cool. I go and grab one, I bring it back to the front of the store. The lady says, oh, perfect, that's great. Um, and I said, did you need help um, bringing it into your car? She said, yes, um, I would appreciate that. So I'm like, okay. I go to her car where we have the, we have the flower bag in the grocery cart and we're going to her car. We open up the trunk and we both carry one side of the bag because again, it's heavy. So I pick it up, she picks up the other side, and I lifted it high enough, let me say that, I lifted it high enough, but she didn't lift it high enough, so as we were dragging it into the trunk, she actually scraped the bag against the grocery cart, and the bag was paper, so it split open and flowers started pouring all over the ground. So I know that it was not my fault because I had lifted the bag high enough so that that wouldn't happen. But the lady starts getting pissed at me. She says, are you kidding me? Like, why didn't you blah, 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 blah. Like you, blah, blah, blah. you should have avoided this. You should have lifted it higher enough. Sis, you were the one who literally didn't lift it high enough. You were the one who dragged it against the cart and made it break. So I said, ma'am, I apologize about this being the good customer service representative that I am. And I say, I can go grab you another bag. So I take the bag, I bring it back into the store. I ask my coworker, hi, I apologize. There's a spill outside in the parking lot. Could you go clean it up? Okay. So I go grab my second bag. I put it into the cart, go right back to her place by her car. I lift up the bag again, like what we were doing. This woman, again, drags it against the grocery cart and scrapes it against the grocery cart and it rips open again for the second time. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Now this woman's pissed. This woman's pissed. She's like, I have a blah, blah, blah. I'm supposed to be here and here on time, such and such, whatever. Like, you are taking way too much time. I pay for good quality service and you can't even lift a bag and put it into my car properly without it breaking, but well, like I'm supposed to be somewhere here and here at town. I'm like, ma'am, I apologize. I'll go grab you another bag. I can go grab you some tape perhaps. If you're running low on time, I can go grab you some tape and we can patch it up and it should be fine. She said, no, I want another bag. Okay, I go in, grab another bag, third bag. Mind you, these bags are about $20 each. So this is a lot of money we're losing. I go get my third bag, bring it back outside, and finally we get into the car. We get the bag in the car, in the trunk, perfectly fine. She closes the trunk, goes into her car, and just drives off. No thank you, no apology, no I'm sorry that I broke the bag twice and you have to get in trouble for breaking two bags of flour. None of that. So yeah, she just drove off and didn't even say thank you. Love that. Okay, now let's get on to our third story. So our store closed at, I think, 7 o'clock, 6 or 7 o'clock, and 
one of my duties as a closer, closing worker, was that I would have to stand by the doors when the store was closing and just guard it, let customers out, and not let customers in, obviously because the store is closed. Okay. So I'm standing there letting everyone out. Hi, thank you for shopping. Please have a good night. Take care. Have a good night. Happy holidays. Um, have a good night. Thank you for shopping with us. Blah, blah, blah. Being the good customer service representative that I am. So I'm just going there, going there, like just letting these customers out, being sweet and kind, putting my customer service face on. Thank you for shopping with us. Have a good night. It's about 7.03 at this point. It's 7.03, store is closed, customers are checking out, they're leaving. This one woman comes up to the door and she says, hi, I just need to grab one thing, um, please let me in. I say, ma'am, I'm sorry. I pull up my phone with the time, I say, it is 7.03, I apologize, but I cannot let anybody in. We are trying to close the store. Um, I'm sorry, I just, I can't let you in. And she said, please, I drove 40 minutes to get here. It's it's an emergency. What I need is an emergency. I say, ma'am, I am truly sorry. I cannot let you in. It is employee protocol to not let people in after the store is closed. And then she starts cussing me out. She says, F you, you saw. She says, F you, she stuck up the finger. She gave me the finger. F you, you suck, you're a POS, you suck, this whole store sucks. How are you not gonna let someone who drove 40 minutes to get here in the store when they need something? Your customer service sucks, blah, blah, I'm like, ma'am, I am truly sorry, there is nothing I can do. She turns around, raises up her finger in the air, and walks towards her car. Ma'am, I'm sorry, I cannot let you in the store after seven o'clock, like it's employee protocol, I literally cannot let you in. So that's how mean customers can be. I mean, customers are very mean sometimes. So you gotta be able to be a social person. And you have, if you're trying to work in retail, you have to be nice to people and deal with rude people who will cuss you out. Now we're moving on to the last but not least story of when a customer fat shamed me. So as I said before, I worked in a bulk store and a lot of the products were in bins that you can scoop in and grab however much you want. So this man comes up to me, he says, um, I want to grab chips for my daughter, but I don't know how they taste. Like, I don't know what they taste like. So I said, oh, that's no worries, sir. I can go grab you a sample. Like I would be able to get a scoop, scoop some of those chips up and give him a sample just for him to try. Like we were allowed to do that. So I offer him that, and you know what he says to me? He looks at me up and down, and he says, see, I'm trying to keep on a strict diet so that I don't end up like you, and points at my belly fat. Dude, how are you going to point me out and make fun of my appearance when I was the one being nice to you, offering you to try the snack? How the hell are you going to be rude to me? And my coworker was gracious enough to stand up for me. And my my coworker was like, sir, that was a little bit uncalled for. You shouldn't have said that. Um, but I was visibly upset because I had never had anybody attack me like that the way he did. And it was just so unnecessary because I was trying to be the good customer service representative that I was. I was trying to offer him a sample but he just completely verbally attacked me. And for what? What was the point of calling me out for my fat? My bad. Anyways, those were some quick retail story times. I don't have any long stories. This is why I put four of them together. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I miss working there a lot. I miss the people that I was with. I got really close to a lot of people that work there. I still keep in touch with some of them. I miss them a lot. I miss them dearly. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun to do. I hope you subscribe and like this video and comment your thoughts. And um, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching this video. If you even made it this far. I doubt anybody made it this far because literally I suck. Comment Karen if you made it this far in the video just to see who made it this far. I doubt it. I doubt anybody made it this far, but I love you all so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I love you all so much. Take care guys.